Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So ignore the washing machine in the background, I'm washing my work tops. So basically I haven't filmed a video in a while, well that's a lie. I literally like half an hour ago finished filming a story time but apart from that I haven't filmed in a long long time. So basically today I went to Asda because I love the, um, as like I love Asda's um, like pasta salads etc. So I got their tuna pasta salad because I've got work tomorrow and for me I don't like having sandwiches at work but I can't exactly make a salad because if I put salad cream in it the salad cream goes to the bottom mixes with the juice of the tomato and just isn't nice because I do actually eat the innards of a tomato like in my salad but usually when I make a salad I eat it like there and then I did pick up the odd extra thing from Asda so I picked up this large mixing bowl for uni I'm not going to talk too much about it but I realised the other day that um, we hadn't bought one when we did my uni shop so yeah so I bought that it was 75 pence so why not and also whilst I was walking around I saw candles now I haven't lit my other candle in such a long time and it's actually like a Yankee candle as well but it's like cinnamon apple or something and it's not really like my scent but I got it as a Christmas present so yeah but in Asda I saw the candles for three pounds and I was like well for that amount and for that price why not so I got the Pacific Wax Co candle in fresh cotton so yeah and honestly it smells divine <sighs> I genuinely think I must be adulting because like to want a fresh cotton scent oh so nice like so so nice I don't know how long it burns for I never even looked at the thing it was just like well I like the candle so about this ingredient Jesus Burn time up to 85 hours each. 85! Ingredients, paraffin and palm wax blend. And then fragrance. Yeah. And it's certified sustainable palm oil. RSPO. And then it has mixed underneath. Because when I read palm wax, I was thinking, is that got palm oil in? But apparently that's sustainable. I didn't look in at ingredients. I just saw three pounds and this big, massive jar and thought, I'm guessing it. And I think there was like, I can't remember what the other fragrances were, but there was one that was like a red colour. And then there was one that was like pink. And I think it was called Celebration, the pink one was. But I want, but I was drawn to the white one and also fresh cotton. You can't go wrong there. So yeah, that's all I bought from Asda. I'm eventually gonna need to um, stick my work clothes in the dryer because it's too late for them to go out on the line because it's quarter to eight. Oof. So it's soon going to be time for me to start, like, I was about to say start winding down for the night. Oh my god, I sound so old. Usually I don't go to bed till like 12 though. So, yeah, but I need to be at work for like just before half 10. So I need to leave the house at 10 at the latest. So I'll need to wake up about 8 maybe. Let's know. Because... I don't have to shower because I did that like before I went to Asda. I don't need to go to Asda either. So I could afford to go till nine. But 
or even half eight. But for me to be safe and to like properly wake up, I'm just gonna go for like eight. Cause then I can always like sit in my pajamas for like an hour, an hour and a half before getting dressed. I also want to change well want slash need. It's not a need, but yeah to change my bank details on my student finance to my student bank account and same with my um bursary that i'm getting because i'm doing a healthcare course at uni so i get the five grand bursary okay so it's later on in the night it's just before tw i was about to say just before 12 then it's just after 10 o'clock like it's a few minutes after 10 and all i've done is watch like I put TLC on and watched Say Yes to the Dress Lancashire, which is obviously with Gok. And then I watched Say Yes to the Dress, like, New York, so Kleinfeld. And, yeah, that's all I've done so far. And eaten some sweets. I've done a whole bag of Haraway Fruit Delicious, but oh well. I haven't done anything I've said I wanted to. But I feel like I'll probably just do like the ASMR channel, like sort out the thumbnail for that. Because I feel like that's something that's just simple to do. I can't stop staring at my hair because um, I just like how my hair looks when it's freshly washed. Like, oh, so nice. And also I love how soft it is. Honestly, I love freshly washed hair. So nice. I feel like I need to not wrap up for the night but i feel like i need to start winding down so like maybe some reading i have got my candle on and yeah like my new cotton scent fresh cotton scented candle and yeah and also i've dried my um work tops and i'm pretty sure i've got the cuffs clean i looked at the cuffs when i got them out the dryer and they are clean but yeah, I should probably start winding down because I definitely should go to bed at like 12 rather than like 1. Which means that in order to calm myself down, I should probably start doing that like now. And maybe try and get in some reading. Like I'll probably read from like 11 till 12. Because I feel like that's like the best time because I'm not going to go to sleep before 12. When I don't need to be up till like 8. Like, that's what I'm thinking anyway. But I might tidy up my room a little bit. Just, like, hang some clothes up. And possibly put some in the wash if I have happened to miss the odd piece. And just general tidy up. Okay, so it is after work on Saturday. Ignore any background noise at sound and stuff. But yeah, I'm just back from work. I did get into, like, normal clothes rather than pyjamas just because... I knew I wasn't ready for bed yet. I did stop her off at McDonald's for a large Diet Coke. Because why not? Yeah. <laughs> like, I genuinely only went for the Coke. Like, I, I don't know whether I've said this already, but I went Thursday night after work. I think I was able to disguise the fact that I had Coke with the fact that I had keys in my hand. Because, you know, the rest of the keys, the rest of the vice, at night when someone's sleepy, they're not going to fully realise. But anyway, I went and got that. And also at, like, one twenty nine. Why not? Like, it's not as though I'm paying an extortionate price. Like, that is a great, like, that is a bloody reasonable price for Coke. I haven't peeled off the monopoly like thing like token stickers yet type thing i'll do that in a minute but i have literally just got in like as of like five minutes ago and it's currently 20 past 10 so yeah i did pretty well and but it was like an easier like wedding like this catering team did so little like our role was so little compared to like usual which i'm not complaining apart from the fact that it meant i got paid less but it also meant i'm less tired 
or at least like my feet ache less so it was perfect i haven't done any of the things i said i was going to do there's that bloody moth oh my god basically last night i was in the bathroom basically we have the bathroom window open i don't like it open but basically we had the window open the hamster is bloody upside down anyway we not anymore anyway we have the window open so, and when you turn the light on obviously a moth is going to come in and last night i heard a moth come in lost it had a pretty good feeling it left like um like the bathroom and it ventured into the, somewhere else into the house at first i was thinking has it gone into my room it hadn't but i need to figure out a way of getting rid of this moth yeah just because i don't want it in the house and obviously it's not going to have anything to survive on if it's in the house you get me so i need to sort out the moth problem well not problem but issue and yeah i don't think i'm gonna like cook tonight a it's late and also b i'm like full from like the little bit of food i've had like the food i've had today i might have like my packet of crisps because i didn't eat those today but i do need to tidy up my room etc the simple stuff the stuff i said yesterday i haven't picked up the camera like phone all day but basically it's sunday i went to sleep like i said i was going to i haven't done any like youtube stuff yet i did organize the shed even though only like one thing in the shed is mine and that's like a helmet from like six years ago but yeah i've done that i haven't done my room i finally emptied the dishwasher i did go to taco bell and kfc today I had the Crunchy Taco Extreme and I loved it. It was so nice. Granted, it was like so thin. Like, it was like fat. No, I'm not joking. But it was nice. I So it was worth like the one ninety nine, Even though I could have probably made it myself for like 70p, even like a pound. But it was good. And I also got a Termini Philip bucket from KFC for four ninety nine because it's currently like on an offer for that much. And I had never tried KFC before until today. And I will say KFC chicken is good. So yeah, I haven't finished the chicken though. I think I've eaten eight pieces. Oh, so I was just looking around my the living room and. I had an Amazon order to come today. Basically, in your room, like, you sort of ha need a spot to put, like, dirty washing. And I thought, hey, let's have two, so that then it's, like, one for dark, one for light, so that it's easy to organise. And so I picked up these things they are seagrass like baskets there's like the odd place where the workmanship on them isn't like the greatest but they do suit their purpose like they will suit their purpose like really well and i just thought like i kind of didn't want like the whole proper like tall laundry basket type situation or and so i got like two belly baskets like they're called belly baskets and i thought that would be nice like that would be the best way forward for me at least and also then afterwards i can use them like i can always end up using them for like a different purpose like in the future so they work well and also i didn't want to have like like a laundry like like a wash basket like you know that you take stuff to the 
washing machine with. Like, I didn't want to have one of those wash basket, I think that's what it's called. And I didn't want to buy, like, a crate either, because you can literally only get, like, crate, like, for, like, a 32 litre crate, you can literally only get them in, like, black. And it's very rare for you to find, like, one in a nice colour. <sighs> so, which is what got me looking into, like, different means anyway and I chose that and I paid £12 in total for the two well eleven ninety nine, but £12 granted they were reduced from like 21 I think when I first got them I wasn't as pleased with them as I am now but because I was thinking is it really gonna like suit like the feel I want but actually they are they are but originally i was looking at like the fabric version of that but they're quite expensive for like the size i wanted in dunelm i would have had to pay like 10 pounds for one for like the same size which is crazy like granted the one at dunelm might have been slightly bigger but I still think it's quite easy, but I did buy a new house plant today because I went to B&M because I was looking for like a pencil pot, but I couldn't see any. So yeah, I went looking for one of those, but didn't get one, but still ended up buying other stuff instead. Oh well. Granted, I did buy um some new like highlighters. Like, the Stabilo, or Stabilo, I don't know how you pronounce it, they're pastel highlighters. I do already have some, like, I'd already had a pack of them, and I still have some of them. But, with the pink one, the, when it was in my school bag, like, for college, the cap had come off, and so it had dried out, so I lost the pink. And then with the orange, I just, I must have, like used it in class and like let someone use it in class and then just not had it back and so yeah i just didn't have it and i wanted both of them like yeah so i bought myself a pack but they were only like they were only a fiver in um b m like they would have been 13 like they were reduced from 13 to 5 which is obviously like over 50% and for a fiver you can't go wrong you really cannot go wrong so yeah I've got a pack of those and yeah I've spent too much money this past couple of days so yeah but at least I've tried KFC enough the plant I bought I've never heard of it before like I've never heard of like the name like this type before but it looked like a um, succulent, like an aloe vera type thing, so that's good. And yeah. So I completely forgot to film an ending for this. Obviously, like this video was like coming out anyway because I've already moved into uni, but I came down with a cold, so it took me longer to put this video out. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to watch another one of my videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.